In this series, we'll cover working with air control on smart controllers. Now, there are a couple of options when it comes to using air control with a smart controller, and what works best for you might depend on specific logging requirements or even the type of drone that you're flying. So on one hand, we can load air control right onto the smart controller and fly almost the same as we would through a mobile device. This is limited to what DJI offers support for in the SDK, so all aircraft might not be supported. In this case, we can also discuss the second scenario in which we're flying through DJI on the smart controller, but logging all of our flights along with the safety and compliance information through air control, possibly on a separate mobile device. This would also be true if we're using DJI imports, because there can be many cases where those imported logs don't make it all the way over, um, whether they end up stuck on the device itself and you have to go into DJI in sync, or even a potential error while it's passing through some of the servers. The Android APK is currently being distributed via a Dropbox link, which you or your account admin should have received during account setup. So if you look for your original welcome email, that should look something like this. Follow the link to download the Android APK. It will bring you to a Dropbox link similar to this. And you can download the latest version right to your computer. Or you can also save this directly to a USB flash drive that you can then insert into the smart controller. In this example, we have the smart controller connected to the computer via USB cable. So I'm going to download this to my computer. We'll plug in with the smart controller. Make sure you choose the option to transfer files. And then you should be prompted with a new file explorer window showing your smart controller. So I'm going to choose to save this into the SD card. There's our download folder right there. So if we go back to where we downloaded the file, we can show this folder. And then from here, we can just drag and drop that file right into our download folder. Once that's complete, the file is now on the smart controller, so we can close out our windows and we'll resume the process from the smart controller. So let's go ahead and get into our apps here. You should have an option for file manager. And here we can explore and get into our SD card. And then we'll find that download folder again. And we'll grab the latest version that we just downloaded and tap to install. Follow the prompts. So it's important to note that when we launch air control for the first time, you'll want to make sure that you're connected to a solid internet connection. Otherwise, we'll run into some errors here. You can always confirm that through the menu. You can see my Wi-Fi is enabled and we are connected. So let's go ahead and log in. Once logged in, we're going to select our account. You may only have one option there. Please make sure you allow all the permissions as you're prompted for them through this process. So now we have air control installed on the smart controller. We're logged in and online. You can see we're getting our airspace maps, our advisories are coming through. So we're now good to go. So to proceed with our workflow, in this video, we're mainly gonna cover using air control on the smart controller, in which case we're typically flying the drone with the smart controller here. So just as we would, we can tap the fly button right here on the main screen, or we can go into our missions and create or select a mission. 
in which case we'll grab one of our missions, we'll run through our workflow. There's our pre-flight checklist. There's our risk assessment. And now we're in the in-flight mode where we can power up our drone and fly as normal. So we power up the drone here. We'll start to get our visuals. So just like that, we now have controls. And we can pinch the sticks and take off and fly and log our flights. Once we have completed our activity, we'll tap the same exit button over here, the red circle. And in this case, I didn't have any flight logs since I did not take off. So it did not prompt us for our post flight review. As for the other example of how we can use air control on the smart controller, we can still proceed using manual flight logs if needed. So in that case, we can again tap the fly button or go into our mission. I'm going to grab the same mission, select. I'm going to skip through the workflow for this example. When we get to the in-flight screen, since my drone is powered on, you'll see how it tries to connect with the drone first. But we do have that manual flight log button that appears in the bottom right corner. So we can always tap that and continue logging our flight activity this way. So we'll select our aircraft and battery. And then we can add our duration either through the timer or with a manual input here. We'll call that a five minute flight. And now we have one flight log. So if I tap exit, we'll confirm we're done logging. And that's going to bring us into our post flight workflow, followed by our post-flight review, where we can add flight notes and mark our mission complete. One more chance to enter those notes. I'll tap done, and we're brought back to the main airspace screen where we started. So that's a pretty quick tutorial on how to use air control on the smart controller. If you run into any questions or issues, please feel free to reach out to support at aloft.ai. Also reach out if you need the link to the latest version, we'd be happy to provide that. As always, thank you for flying with Aloft, fly safe and fly often.